here are two sources of waves, S1 and S2. They are emitting crests and troughs, and this crest is emitted at the same time as this one. So they emit waves in phase. The blue waves travel this distance to get to point P, and the red, wa red, red waves travel this distance to get to point P. Even though they started out in phase, they arrive out of phase. Between these two blue crests, there's a trough. So at this point P, we have a crest, a red crest, and a blue trough. The waves cancel. How did they start in phase, but finish out of phase? It's because they travel different distances. The blue waves travel one, two, three, and a half wavelengths, but red waves travel one, two, and three wavelengths. So the length of this path to P is three and a half lambda for the blue, and it's three lambda for the red. So if we sketch out the displacement graphs, here are the displacements from S1, and here are the displacements being produced by S2. And remember, we're drawing the displacement of point P due to the two waves. So look at point P and then imagine, okay, well here's the, the trough right between two blue crests. So at point P, the blue wave is at a trough down here. But time is passing and so the waves keep moving forward and so eventually a crest reaches point P. So the graph does this. And then a trough reaches point P and then another crest. What about the red waves? Well at this moment shown, when t is equal to zero, we have a crest at point P. So the red waves start up here. But time is passing, and so these waves travel forward. So next, a trough arrives a little bit later. So the graph goes down. And then a crest arrives, and then another trough. So we can see that the waves will cancel, and we can talk about the cancellation in many different terms. We can talk how many lambdas separate the two waves and the paths that they, they travel, how much of a period separates the two waves, or how much of one cycle to pi radian separates the two waves. When we talk about lambda, we're referring to the difference in their paths. This three and a half, we could call that L1, the distance that the blue waves travel. 3, that's L2, the length of the path that the red waves travel. Delta L is just the difference, which in this case is 0.5 lambda. Here's one cycle. And on the left side, we're talking about the difference between the waves. How much are they off by? But instead of talking in terms of lambdas, we could talk in terms of time. Look at this crest here. And then we have another crest right here. See how this length of time is exactly half a cycle or half a period. Because if we measure from here to here, this would be a full period. So how much time are the two waves off by? How unsynchronized are the two crests, this crest and this crest? Well, they occur half a period apart, so t over 2. Finally, we could also talk in terms of phase difference. We know that when two waves are perfectly out of phase like this, the difference is pi radian. We can call that phase difference, give it the variable phi. And the time difference, we can call that delta t. So there are many different ways to talk about how far off the two waves are. And these are the three main ones. So let's answer some problems. Two coherent waves travel different paths to reach point P. The path difference is lambda over 3. 
what is the phase difference between waves arriving at P? So we're starting with path difference. And we're trying to get the phase difference. You can think of this as a converting problem. We're going from number of wavelengths to some number of radians. So just convert the units. We start with lambda over 3. And to convert, we multiply by, well, let's see. We want to get rid of lambda. So 1 lambda is a full cycle. We want to convert into radian. So 2 pi radian is a full cycle. We're multiplying by 1 full cycle's worth. And we're dividing by 1 full cycle's worth. The lambda cancels out. We have 2 thirds pi radian. Number 2. The phase difference between coherent waves is pi over 6. By how much time are the two waves non synchronous? So we're going from phase difference into the time difference. Or we can think of it as changing from radians into some fraction of a period. So again, we start with the given value, pi over 6 radians. And then we have to multiply to cancel out the radians. OK, so hmm, how many radians make one cycle? 2 pi. And we're trying to convert into some number of so a time. So we say, how much time makes a full cycle? One period. Again. This is one full cycle on the numerator and one full cycle in the denominator. So when we cancel the pi and the radian, we get t over 12. Two coherent but non-synchronized waves meet at point P. Their crests occur t over 4 apart from each other. That's the amount of time between the two crests occurring. What's their path difference? So we're going from a time difference into a path difference, the difference in their lengths. Or you could think of it as we're converting from some number of uh, periods into some number of wavelengths. We start with t over 4. And we say, well, we're trying to cancel out time. So how much time makes one cycle? A period. We're converting into lambda, or distance. How much distance makes a full cycle? Lambda. The t cancels, and we have lambda over 4. That's choice b. Are all these b? Oh, <laughs> so far that's the only one. OK, finally, two coherent but non-synchronized waves meet at point p. The crests occur t over 4 apart. What's their phase difference? Oh, it's the same thing, but now instead of going to path difference, we're going to phase difference. We're converting from some number of periods into some number of radians. So we start with t over 4. We want to cancel out time, so one cycle worth of time is capital T. When converting into radians, so one cycle worth of radians is 2 pi. A phase difference of 2 pi radians produces a time difference of one period. You can think of it like this up above. A time difference of one period would be caused by a path difference of one wavelength. So they correspond with each other. And finishing this one, the t cancels out. And we get pi 2 pi over 4, or pi over 2 radians. Choice C.